Hello everybody! This video will show you what to do if one of hard disk partitions is not shown in the Explorer after reinstalling Windows, or if you installed a new hard disk in your computer and it is not shown too, though you can see it in BIOS. So let's begin. Right-click on the Start menu, select Disk Management from the menu that appears. If you have a missing partition on your hard disk, Check if there are any unallocated areas there, or an arrow which is unallocated already, but it doesn't have any drive letter. Sometimes the disk contains some data, but there is no letter assigned to it. That is why don't hurry to take any action to avoid losing this data. At first, make sure that this area uh, is not unallocated, but it is, for example, an NTFS disk. In this case, you just need to assign a drive letter. To do it, right-click on this area. In this case, the menu should have a line Change drive letter or pass. Click Add. Choose the drive letter. In our case, that is disk D. Click OK. Now check it. Disk D can be seen in the Explorer now. If this is still some unallocated space, then click on it and choose from the menu Create a simple volume. Then click Next. Set the volume size. By default, all available size is set. Then click Next. Assign a drive letter. In our case, let E remain. Click Next. Leave all settings as they are, because for modern versions of Windows operating system, NTFS is the optimal choice. Click Next. Now click Ready and wait for a while. Now Disk E appears in the Explorer. But if you installed a new hard disk in your computer and it is not shown in the Explorer, you should go to the Disk Management utility and check if the system has an uninitialized disk, as in this example. In this case, right-click on this area and choose to initialize the disk. Select the partition type. Is either MBR or GPT. I'd recommend choosing GPT if you have a modern computer with UEFI. If your computer doesn't support UEFI, or you don't know it for sure, then choose MBR. OK. The disk is initialized, but it will not be shown in the Explorer anyway, because there is an unallocated space here. To initialize it, right-click on such area, select Create a simple volume, and then we do the same things as we did in the previous example. As a result, now Disk F appears in the Explorer. I hope this information was useful for you. Thanks for watching.